So now we've got our Scorpion all smoothed out. This is a nice model we want to work with. The next step in this process is to determine how we want to hold this in the machine. We need something natural and organic to really hold the Scorpion's feet together because these legs are really small and skinny and they need support. And we need to support the whole Scorpion itself in the machine. What we decided to do was to use Mastercam Art to create a base surface to rest the feet on as well as fasten the rock lock fixture from underneath. So the first step in this process is to create a surface that we're going to use to make a nice organic shape. So let's do a flat boundary surface on this rectangle. Say OK. Now, it doesn't touch the scorpion's feet. We need to pull this up using edit surface. So edit surface, let's grab somewhere over here and we can just drag this surface up into some sort of an organic shape. I can click enter and do it again. Anywhere I click, we add a node point to the surface. Now, if I grab this node point and pull it up, I'm able to make the ground meet the scorpion's feet, basically. We can see we're pretty close. We've got three of the feet just about touching now. The front one needs a little bit more work. So I'll click enter, place another node point about here. If I move this right now, while this UV line is highlighted red, that will actually move the entire UV line. So let's click escape here. If I get out of that and now I see the node point showing up, I can actually click the node point and now drag it up. And we get something, something near the feet. Let's get that way up here. All right, and then maybe one more to get this foot a little better. Grab something close. There we go. So now we have a nice organic base surface that touches the scorpion on all four feet on this side. The next step is to get this into Mastercam Art. Mastercam Art wants to use an STL file as its base starting surface. So we need to basically make a enclosed mesh out of this body. What I'm gonna do here is snap to the top view and just model another little rectangle, something just a little bit smaller. So something in this corner here and this corner over here. And let's extrude that up. Let's go both directions. And what I can do to that is trim that solid body to the surface we created. So let's trim this solid to this surface. And now we have a, a nice solid body with a organic top. One step that's gonna actually save us some work in the future, Mastercam Art likes to work in the top right quadrant of Mastercam. So I'm gonna move all of my geometry just for now from this corner and make sure we get this down on the actual origin using the solid body. So now the solid body is positioned at the corner origin point of Mastercam. I'm gonna save this solid body as a STL file And now at this point, I'm gonna turn off that level. So now we're left with nothing but the Scorpion. If we go to our Art tab, I can click Start Art, and that will bring up the Art Toolbar. So here's our Art Toolbar. I need to import a base surface that we can start working with. So on Art, I can say Open from a file, and we're gonna to navigate to where I saved that. So I'll grab this base, say Open, Let's use normal resolution here, say OK, and that should import in the right spot. So now we can see the top base surface showing up right where we wanted it to. And now at this point, we can use Mastercam Art to do a series of things. Art can add and subtract to these art base surfaces. What I really want to do here is actually add a texture. So I'm going to go with a handcrafted texture. We actually need to make a chain first so that we can give the texture a place to land. So basically the same thing as before, I'm gonna make a rectangle that's just slightly smaller than the base surface. So everything within this rectangle will get a texture. So we go art, handcrafted, we'll chain this new rectangle. 
And now we're given this menu that shows some of the art settings that we can use to generate this texture. So I've got some numbers here I can punch in that I used on our project. Basically adjust the radius of these ellipses. There's the height, we have some spacing adjustments. This is the result of trial and error, finding out which settings work the best and going with them. We've got all our settings punched in, I'll click OK. Now the handcrafted textures will generate. And now we can see this kind of nice organic looking surface. You can see it's really computer generated looking, so we do need to add some smoothing to it, which art can do for us. So let's click on smooth. We'll chain that same chain. And in this case, let's punch in a smoothing radius of say 60 thousandths and say okay. And now as this generates, you should see the surface go from really jagged to looking a little more organic. Okay, so now this, this base surface looks pretty organic. And again, this is a perfect square. We're gonna cut this into a more organic shape in a minute, but this is something we can certainly work with. The next step I'm gonna do is export this base as a mesh file. Okay, so we're gonna save this as base done. Now, if I turn off the level with all of the art surfaces on them, we can import that mesh file we just created. So now I see our base done here. I'm gonna hold control and drag it into master cam. Okay, so now with that mesh imported, I can turn the level with the scorpion on and see that we have this nice organic mesh that touches the scorpion at all four feet. And from here, I can actually trim this mesh using the shape that we had already created. So let's move this wireframe over to our level with the base mesh. So before we trim this mesh to this chain that we've created, what I want to do is the same thing we've done before with our other mesh entities in this project. We can see that the mesh is not very uniform at this point. We want to make this a little more uniform for a nice surface finish. So mesh, check mesh, no problems. So that's good. We're going to run refine once. Let's say 10 thousandths. Okay, so we can see that made some really small mesh facets. I don't quite need them to be that small. Let's maybe make that about five times bigger. There we go. So something nice and uniform. I can run smooth on this as well. Just to give it one final dose of smoothing, just to make it look a little more organic. Now our mesh has been smoothed. I'm gonna use trim to chain mesh, trim to chain, select our target mesh, select our chain. There we go. So there is our base surface. From here, we can simply extrude a vertical wall. Let's turn off our edge display. We can extrude a vertical wall down there to show that this is gonna be the solid body that we mount to. The scorpion is roughly symmetrical, so we can mirror that same base surface to the other side. And then we can simply install the rock lock studs in the bottom of this, and we have our base to move forward with the scorpion process.